Hey everyone, as you've probably heard, James Cameron's Pandora is headed to Disneyland in some form or fashion, but the theme park community is a little confused about what the happiest place on earth is actually getting. What sparked this firestorm of speculation was Disney CEO Bob Iger's latest comments at the Morgan Stanley Technology, Media, and Telecom Conference on March 5th, where he seemingly confirmed a second Pandora, the world of Avatar, land for Disneyland. The CEO was quoted saying the following, We have one Avatar-based land, Pandora, in Florida. We're going to put a second one in California. The problem is that this isn't the first time Iger has alluded to a West Coast Pandora, but in the past, he's described the addition as a quote-unquote experience, not necessarily a new theme park land. And after Iger's announcement, Disney reportedly backtracked on Iger's language and referred to his 2023 earnings call announcement, where he said the following, Today, I'm thrilled to announce we will be bringing an exciting Avatar experience to Disneyland. He's also not the only one to officially talk about this. Also in 2023, D23 described Disneyland's upcoming Avatar experience as amazing as those found at Walt Disney World Resort. This created confusion as an experience, which define that how you will, assumingly not a land, would be tough to top what's already at Animal Kingdom. That same year, Disneyland Resort President Ken Patrick confirmed work was being done toward a future Avatar edition during a Disneyland Forward meeting. However, he didn't seem to be that aware of this future Avatar edition. For reference, Disneyland Forward is a public planning initiative to update approval for Disneyland's land use aka expand and open a third gate with permission from the city of Anaheim. But Ken Patrick raised a few eyebrows when he shockingly admitted his ignorance about the project, saying, By the way, a surprise to me, not kidding, it's great when you hear from your boss what you're doing. He was also reported saying, however, that Imagineers are working with Jim Cameron and his team. We're going to share lots more details as they become available. By the way, as I become aware of what the heck we're going to do. But stay tuned. It's going to be really exciting. We're thinking bold. Fast forward now to January of 2024. Avatar franchise producer John Landau shared a photo of his visit to Walt Disney Imagineering with the following caption. Had a great day at Walt Disney Imagineering talking about the future. So, there you go. That's the timeline of events so far and why fans are divided over whether we're getting a Disneyland Pandora land or a Disneyland Pandora experience. But I don't think we'll be confused for long. At the time of recording, which is March 11th, an important vote is taking place concerning Disneyland Forward, with Disney's Senior VP of Global Development and Finance saying just this morning, we know what kind of stories we love to tell. We need to get the guidance, what we can build there, so we can understand how. I believe Disney wants a whole Pandora land for the Disneyland Resort, and they have from the start. Disney only somewhat backtracked in Iger's language because, as of the Morgan Stanley Conference, the city of Anaheim hadn't voted yet, and Disney didn't want to formally commit to a land without the approval from the city to back it up. It's also worth noting that on the Avatar website, Animal Kingdom's Pandora, the world of Avatar, is also listed as an experience. But regardless, the reasons why I think a Pandora land is what the Disney brass has in mind is because Iger used the same language in announcing this land that he did when announcing the two Star Wars Galaxy's Edge lands. That has to be intentional. And part of the purpose, and Iger even giving these statements to begin with, is to inspire confidence in his leadership and direction and in plans for Imagineering. Secondly, Disneyland Forward concept art has always shown what appears to be a slightly squished, rearranged version of Animal Kingdom's Pandora, the world of Avatar. Again, this is what they've wanted for years. There's also the fact that Disney wants to build not just new attractions, but new immersive lands. It seems to be why Disneyland Ford was, initi was initiated to begin with. They want to build lands in a third gate. 
And Pandora in Animal Kingdom is already a proven success and one that's only gaining more relevance due to James Cameron's ongoing Avatar film franchise. Now, the second topic of fan conversation surrounding this news is whether Disneyland's Pandora, the world of Avatar, will be a duplicate of Animal Kingdoms or something brand new. And I get it, of course, fans would love a brand new land, but this is one area where I'm not optimistic. And here's why. Joe Rohde, the Imagineer who envisioned and was tasked with Pandora the World of Avatar, is gone. I was a Pandora doubter before the land opened in Animal Kingdom in 2017 because I didn't think anyone was asking for it. Yes, the films make billions, but it doesn't really have an established fandom like Marvel or Star Wars. However, Rhodey managed to make it art and accessible to those who never even seen the films or even like the films. I just don't think anyone else can make a different Pandora that still manages to mesh with the original as well as the films and with the same layers of genius and nuance. Also, it's no secret that a replica land is just cheaper. And let's be real, Disney isn't going to gamble on something new over something cheaper and safer. Then there's the fact that Disneyland guests are going to want a lot of what Animal Kingdom already has, particularly Flight of Passage. You have to have this ride. Now, could you change some of the queue? Absolutely. But that's about as different as I think it's going to get, apart from a slightly different layout for the land, and maybe a few more interactive and entertainment options. Lastly, it's worth noting that conditions are way different for Imagineering this time around. For instance, a second Pandora isn't anchored in Animal Kingdom with the park's grounded, connected message. Also, Disney now owns 21st Century Fox, which was not the reality back when Animal Kingdom first opened. So, when will we get an actual Pandora, the world of Avatar, or an Avatar experience confirmation? It could come as early as tomorrow, which would be March 12th. There could be some comments and further teasers tonight and into the morning from Disneyland Forward. But since the initiative still has a ways to go, I think it could be a bit longer before we get actual clarification slash confirmation from Bob Iger. Adding to the mix is an Imagineering shakeup, namely the departure of Walt Disney Imagineering president Barbara Bozo with WDI Chief Creative Officer Bruce Vaughn who actually is an in-house Imagineer and becoming the sole creative lead of Walt Disney Imagineering. This is extremely interesting and encouraging and could mean that our long national nightmare of Ikea interior design and California Epcot plazas are finally over. This also means a new Imagineering president will be presiding over Animal Kingdom's own somewhat Disneyland-inspired expansion. Yes, it's a coast-to-coast -coast swap we're talking about here, as while Disneyland is getting Animal Kingdom's Pandora, Animal Kingdom is supposedly getting Disneyland's Indiana Jones Adventure Attraction. So here's what we know. At 2023's Destination D23 event, Disney announced Imagineering is considering a Tropical Americas redo of the park's Dinoland USA, featuring Encanto's Casita in Disneyland's Indiana Jones ride replacing Dinosaur. Also coming to Animal Kingdom is a Zootopia show, replacing the current It's Tough to Be a Bug 3D show located inside the Tree of Life. According to Disney, the current concept for this new Zootopia experience has guests visiting the different biomes you can only glimpse in the film, traveling along with Judy Hopps, Nick Wilde, and other characters. It's honestly a miracle it's tough to be a bug has survived this long, it's basically Animal Kingdom's version of Snow White's Scary Adventures, and a Zootopia overlay makes sense as the Tree of Life is already covered with various animals. And knowing the Imagineers who are penning this show, this could be really good. Now, I know Disney fans are asking when it's tough to be a bug and Dinosaur and Dinoland will close to make way for these construction projects and expansions. Personally, I don't think we'll hear anything until the fall and after the summer crowds, especially since Animal Kingdom is the next park on the docket to gain something new. Disney needs to let Tiana's Bayou Adventure open, and then we'll start to hear rumblings as soon as possible for Animal Kingdom. 
especially with D23 coming up in August. So that's all I have for today. We'll see what we get after Disneyland Forward and just how soon we'll get Avatar clarification for Disneyland. In the meantime, I'm keeping an ear out for more information and reveals about Disney Cruise Line's Lookout K at Lighthouse Point, which is set to open the beginning of June. It'll be interesting to see what we hear next about that project. In the meantime, thanks for watching and have a magical day.